Welcome back to Studio 33 Art by K. So what I'm going to be doing today is I have um, a tile that's still wet and I didn't particularly love the composition of the double dip that I did. So I'm just going to take a little um, offset spatula and um, just spread the paint lightly just to mix it up a bit. Makes a gorgeous background. This is just a 1500 millimeter by 1500 millimeter tile. So I'm just, so the paint's not wasted and I've got a nice um, background to put my drizzle on. And I'm just going to do a drizzle swipe wreck and spin because when I did the um, previous tile like this, I had done the drizzle swipe and the cells came up so beautifully i thought i'd like to try and do that again um, but then continue on to do the wreck and spin as well so i'm just going to be using um, these beautiful colors by araldo and some by global and i'm not paid by either of those um, companies they're just that i love the paints i believe global is um, available worldwide i'm not sure about the araldo um, but possibly they are too. So I'm just going to drizzle these in a chevron effect. And if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, if you haven't already, I'd really appreciate that. It would be absolutely wonderful. Um, that just helps me to grow my channel. And it uh, costs you absolutely nothing. You just simply have to um, set up an account with YouTube. Uh, so this one's the Araldo Purple. And then just go in and when you watch one of my videos, just hit the subscribe button. As I say, it's completely free. Now, this is the Global Fuchsia. So here's um, the metallic purple sequin. So I'm just literally drizzling these over. Some spots are a bit thick. Try not to do that get an even coverage it's why it's better if you can have um, your paints in a squeeze bottle um, it just makes it easier to get an even flow over your um, canvas or tile and I don't want to put too much of the green in there just some little pockets so we'll just oops spread it on and this one is the um, metallic Penny Loafer, which is this beautiful, it's almost like a deep bronze, I would call that. So just put a little bit of that in as well, I don't want that to overtake too much. Just a little smothering. And I think I'll add a little bit more of the um, orange, it's sort of, it was one of the first I laid, so I'll that's actually called metallic burst orange, which is great. Just put a little bit more on there because I like it. It's funny as you're going on, well, as I'm going on with my paint pouring journey, my color choices are changing and I'm more attracted to the um, warmer colors now, whereas I've always been a very cool colored person like the blues more. Um, but my color choices are changing somewhat. I'm just going to put a little bit of um, white 
it's a global metallic pearl. It's just a bit of a cell activator, which I'm just going to put a little bit across. All my paints have been mixed with Australian Flow Troll, and the colours I've used uh, are all in the description box below. Okay, now I'm using the Global Black as my cell activator, which I've mixed up one to four with Australian Flow Troll. I believe the American Flow Troll is also very good for um, creating cells. So don't be put off if you are in the US and you can't get the Australian Flow Troll very easily or it's very expensive, I understand, over there. Um, the American Flow Troll mixed with a little water gives a similar effect. I've seen lots of lovely work done with cell work with the um, American Flow Troll also. So now I'm just going to gently swipe from the top down. Hopefully I'll get lots of lovely cells again. Let's see, you should be able to see them coming up straight away. And yes, they are. Beautiful. I do love the black cell activator. It does um, give lovely cells. And then just keep pulling it off. Don't scrape it on the edge just to allow that paint just to flow wow beautiful cells gorgeous so now just take a fresh side of the card don't ever not wipe it off otherwise you'll end up um, with your cell activator not working correctly and also you'll be muddying your colors okay so here i go again Turns out that one of these cards does about half of one of these 150 millimeter by 150 millimeter tiles, which is quite good. So you just have to do the two swipes. And again, the cells are coming through nicely. And we're off. Now, you sometimes get these areas where you've missed. I don't worry about that because I actually quite like that when it comes through when I'm doing my um, working. So that's lovely. Look at this um, purple sequin. And this will really, really um, be very sparkly when it um, dries because of the metallics I've got in there. Um, the metallic burst orange is lovely too. It's gorgeous. So, um, I will eventually, once this dries in a couple of weeks, I'll do a coat of resin. Um, and I always like to put a bit of um, either glitter or I use the Dragonfly Glaze, which is a folk art product. And as you can see, it's like a color shift. This particular one is a blue, green, gold. It comes in all different combinations, uh, but I, just choose whichever one would suit. So in this case, because I've got the green, I've got a bit of the orange, which is like gold, um, and I've got the purpley colors. So I'll probably use that one when I do this. Um, but there is others I could use as well. I just sort of match what I think would go nicely. Or else I just use very fine glitter in the resin. So um, some people don't like glitter at all. But I do. So if, if I'm making them for somebody in particular and they've asked me to um, make some coasters, I'll always ask them first, do you want glitter or sparklies in your resin or not? Because some people, as I say, don't like it at all. Right, I'm just going to hit it with the heat embossing tool just to um, burst any bubbles and bring up any more cells. Not that I need any more. Okay, so now I will do the um, wrecking. I'd like to use my thicker wrecking tool. You can just use a bamboo um, skewer. This is an actual bamboo chopstick. So it's got a slightly thicker end at that end, thinner on that end. So I'm just going to use the thicker end to start with. And when I'm doing my wrecking, I like to start in the middle here so that when I spin, that beautiful bit where you start, where it creates those lovely shapes, won't be um, spun off. It'll stay on there. So I'll try and do one from about here, I think. 
So you just gently draw your implement through the paints and then take it wherever you want to to take it off. Always make sure you wipe it between wrecks and then I'm loving that there, I don't even want to disturb that. So just do another little wreck over here. It looks nice through there. And now I'll just use the thinner end, just up here. Just gives you a different effect. I don't like this end here very much, so I'll just wreck through there. Wow. Okay. So now I will spin this out. Hopefully nothing's in the way too much. So I'm just going to give it a gentle spin. You don't want to spin too fast um, because paint can move too quickly and then you go, oh, I've lost what I had. So just gently to start with, just to um, expand the cells. Okay, now the other way. So you'll see here towards the edges how the cells have expanded more and in the middle they've sort of stayed about the same size and that's all to, to do with science. So the centre of your circle will basically stay the same size and as it goes out the cells will get larger and larger. So wherever you want to stay the same put in the centre. So I could have actually put that corner into the centre and then that corner won't have changed at all. Just something to be aware of. Um, when you're trying to manipulate your results. So I'm going to spin again. And then stop. See how this guy is now very large. But those cells there are about the same. I'm liking that. I think I'll just give one more spin the other way. So anti-clockwise, but slowly-ish. I went to a Chinese restaurant the other day and um, they had one of those massive Lazy Susans in the beginning, middle of the table and it probably would have been about a metre across. And I looked at it and I thought, oh my goodness, I'd love to have one of those. You could do the really huge paintings, put them on there and spin them out. It was fabulous. I just had to spin it. Okay. So I'm liking that very much. The purples together and the bit of orange and the green. So that's lovely. Now, sometimes I'll do a couple of little um, balloon kisses in there. And I'm just feeling like I might need to do that. So I'll just grab a balloon. Just very gently, it's a very soft, squishy balloon. It's been blowing up for a few days. Oh, I'm loving this here, the metallic purple sequin. It's lovely. Okay. So I'm not liking this area as much. It's gone a bit gray where I had that um, old base on it. It's sort of muddied my colors a little bit over here. So hopefully that will bring through something more interesting. If you can hear that noise in the background, that's my geriatric cat, Caesar. He's over 20 years old. And every now and then he'll realize that I'm not in the house with him. So he will start calling out to me. <laughs> um, so that's a nice little one. I'll just 
bringing up a little bit of the purple there. I won't do too many. Just do a little bit over here. Oh, that's pretty. The more colours you have underneath your paint or in your paints, the prettier the balloon smashes become. Because obviously there's more colour to bring up. Might do one just in the middle of here too. That's pretty too. Maybe one in the middle of that wreck. Don't want to overdo it. Just in the spots where I think I need to bring some more colour up. Maybe just a little bit over here. Oh yeah, that looks lovely. So I'm not liking this corner here very much. Oh, look at that. I feel like I just don't like that corner there. Everything else is lovely, like that beautiful purple sex sequin. There looks lovely with the penny loafer and a bit of the um, metallic burst orange. But here, I don't like this. So what I want to do is I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of color there in that corner. And that's the... Um, First orange. Now I'm going to put a bit of the purple sequin. Because I love the way that's come up over here. Now I'm going to get a card. I'm just going to do a little swipe over that. With my black cell activator. Excuse the sound of the car in the background there. That's my partner, Steve, just coming home. So I'm just going to do a little swipe just on this piece and see how that works. See how those cells come up. So I felt that that was just too dark in that area. Okay, it certainly brought up that beautiful purple sequin. That's just lovely with the black, isn't it? So now I'll just get a little skewer and I'll blend this in a little bit by just doing a little wreck there. Just wreck through here. Get that to blend a little bit. And then around here as well. Okay, now I'll just hit that with my heat gun. So that's really brightened up that corner there. It's much nicer. And I'll just give that a little spin because it's on the edge. It should expand those cells on there a little bit. which it did. So that's good. So I think I'll just leave that like that. Okay, so now I'll bring you down um, for a close-up. Okay, so here's the close-up of the finished tile. And as you can see, that metallic purple sequin is just lovely. That's the bit that I added in because I didn't like the dark corner. You can't see, I think if I turn the lights out, you might be able to see better. So I'll just 
reach across for a sec. You might be able to see better the shimmer that's going to create. Can't quite pick it up. But um, it certainly turned out to be a lovely tile with the little balloon kisses, the wrecking lines. And the cells came up beautifully. So there you have it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, and I'll see you back here in the not-too-distant future. Keep safe till then. Bye-bye.